For a typical refugee, your immediate objective is to be alive, to live somewhere where bombs aren't flying over your head, a place where you won't see dead bodies on a regular basis, sometimes people you love, a place where the sound of gunfire is not the only music to your ears and the memory and trauma of war never goes away. Because of my experience during the Somali civil war more than 20 years ago, I still get nightmares on a regular basis. Gunmen chase me in the middle of the night, even while I'm asleep and safe in Britain. That's my life and I have to accept it. And when the refugee is out of an immediate danger, the human desire to survive doesn't stop there. You want something to eat, somewhere to sleep, and if you are a parent, as most Syrian refugees are, you want a better future for your children. That's what parents do. I remember when I came here 16 years ago, I was given a bed where I was sharing a room with another man and a 35 pounds food voucher. I was happy with that, grateful for the generosity. But that happiness only lasted for a few weeks. Once I realized I was in a safe country, I wanted more. I wanted a job so that I can support myself and my family back home. Unlike any other human beings, I continued wanting more and more. What drove me and still drives me is the human desire to better myself and those around me. Refugees want to live and seek a future for their children. That's what Britain has done for me. That's what those refugees fleeing war and death want from Britain. I know I was one and I am one.